All right, fourth graders, we are on lesson 7.6, part two now. Now we're gonna be going from an improper fraction to a mixed number. Part one was going from a mixed number to an improper fraction, so we're just doing the opposite. So let's get started. Let's say we have an improper fraction, nine halves. What you would need to do would be divide the numerator by the denominator, just like that. Now, when you divide, 9 divided by 2, well, would be 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Let me put our remainder in a different color here. 1, right? So, the answer would be 4 remainder 1. Now I'm going to show you how to write it as a mixed number. So, the quotient becomes your whole number. The remainder becomes your numerator. And the denominator stays the same. Yes! Denominator always stays the same. So, once again, your quotient becomes your whole number, your remainder becomes your numerator, and your de de denominator stays the same. Okay, let's try one more. So, you take your numerator, and you divide it by your denominator. Ten divided by four is two. Two times four is eight. Ten minus eight is two. So we have a remainder of two. All right. So now we think quotient becomes our whole number. Remainder becomes our numerator, denominator stays the same. So 10 fourths is equal to 2 and 2 fourths. It's just a different way of representing that amount. One's a mixed number and one's an improper fraction. Okay. Let's look at one more strategy. It's using a number line. So let's read this. To weave a bracelet, Charlene needs seven pieces of brown thread. Each piece of thread must be one-third yard long. How much thread should she buy to weave the bracelet? So basically we're writing seven-thirds as a mixed number. What they have us doing over here on the right where it says model and record is using unit fractions to show seven-thirds. So, think back to unit fractions. One in the numerator, right? We're going to add one-third seven times, because that would give us seven-thirds. Okay. Now, step two, find how many holes are in seven-thirds and how many thirds are left over. So, you know one whole is equal when the numerator and denominator are the same number, like they're showing you here. So how many three-thirds would we have? Well, one, two, three, that's a whole. One, two, three, that's a whole. And then we have this one-third left over. Down here, they're showing you, well, if you add up one plus one, the two holes, and then you add a one-third that's left over, seven-thirds is equal to two, the two ones added together, and a third. So either way, you can change an improper fraction to a mixed number, whether you use unit fractions and a number line, or you use the method I used the first time where you divide and use your quotient and remainder and you keep your denominator the same. 
Either way works. It's up to you what you would like to choose. Here are your practice problems. You need to show your strategy. So if you're going to divide, go ahead and show that work. Or if you'd like to make a number line with unit fractions, go ahead and show that too. Feel free to rewatch the video to see both strategies again. Have a great night, fourth graders. See you tomorrow.